Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry online classes. I am Adi Chavardhan from adichemistry.com from Varangal. Today we are going to explore a crucial topic, the Lapert rule that deals with electronic transitions in transition metal complexes. This concept is essential for understanding electronic spectra and is particularly useful for exams like CSAR net, GATE and IIT JAM. Let us get started. The Laporte rule is a selection rule in electron absorption spectroscopy that applies specifically to centrosymmetric molecules. Selection rules guide us in determining whether a transition between two energy states is allowed or forbidden. Centrosymmetric molecules possess an inversion center, meaning they are symmetric with respect to that point. The symmetry implies that every part of the molecule has a corresponding counterpart mirrored through that center. An example of such a structure is found in octahedral metal complexes. An octahedral complex has a distinct structure characterized by six ligands symmetrically arranged around a central metal ion. At the heart of this arrangement lies a center of inversion, meaning each atom or group in the molecule has an equal counterpart positioned directly opposite mirrored through this central point. Now let us discuss the Laporte rule. According to this rule, in centrosymmetric molecules, the electronic transitions that conserve parity are forbidden. Parity refers to the symmetry state of the molecule with respect to its inversion center. If the parity remains unchanged during the electronic transition, that transition is not allowed according to Laporte rule. For example, electronic transitions between two symmetric states or between two asymmetric states are forbidden according to the Laporte rule. In other words, transitions must involve a change in symmetry or parity for them to be allowed. A symmetric state is referred to as Gerade, denoted by the letter G, while an asymmetric state is called Ungerade, indicated by the letter U. The term Gerade is a German word meaning even and it denotes symmetric states. In contrast, Ungerade translates to odd referring to unsymmetric states. This notation helps categorize the symmetry properties of molecular states when discussing electronic transitions. Let us now determine if the p orbital is Gerado or Ungerado by performing the center of inversion symmetry operation. After the operation, we see that the phases of the p orbital lobes are not the same, indicating that the p orbital is ungerado. Next, let us check the symmetry of the d orbitals. Since the phases of the d orbital lobes remain the same after the inversion, we classify the d orbitals as Gerado. According to the Laporte rule, 
electronic transitions between orbitals of the same type are forbidden because they have the same parity. For example, transitions between two S orbitals are forbidden since both are symmetric with respect to the center of inversion. The transition between P orbitals is also forbidden since they have the same parity. Similarly, transitions between two D orbitals and two F orbitals are also forbidden as they all share the same parity. In the same way, the transition between an S orbital and a D orbital is forbidden as both are Gerardo symmetric in parity. Likewise, the transition between a P orbital and an F orbital is also forbidden since both are asymmetric or ungerado orbitals. Now what about allowed transitions? It is important to remember that the Laporte rule only addresses forbidden transitions and does not specifically define which transitions are allowed. Transitions between a symmetric orbital and an unsymmetric orbital may be allowed if other selection rules permit them. For example, an electronic transition between an ungerado P orbital and a gerado D orbital could be allowed if it complies with other selection criteria. So once again, the Laporte rule focuses on forbidden transitions and does not explicitly determine which transitions are allowed. Also keep in mind that the Laporte rule does not apply to non-centrosymmetric molecules. For example, in tetrahedral metal complexes and non-centrosymmetric octahedral systems, the Laporte rule is not relevant. In theory, transitions between two D orbitals in perfectly centrosymmetric octahedral complexes are not allowed according to the Laporte rule. However, weak D D absorptions are still observed primarily due to vibronic coupling which arises from asymmetric vibrations in the molecule. Additionally, a disruption of the center of symmetry such as in the case of John Teller distortion can also make these transitions weakly allowed. That's all for now. Visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry CSR NetGate using any search engine like Google. You can also find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments section or drop an email at adhikemyadi at gmail.com. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.